Talk about hitting every trigger point right on the spot. Hey guys, this is my review for three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, and this is quite possibly my movie of the year. Martin McDonough has proven himself as a great film writer and director with films like Bruges and Seven Psychopaths, of which are pretty much his only two main movies that he's ever done. And both of those movies have massive critical acclaim for being incredibly good dark comedies. And Three Billboards is possibly one of his best. If not, it is his best one. The film focuses on Frances McDormand's character Mildred who puts up three billboards kind of on this rural road very near to her house and actually quite near where her daughter was killed as a means to basically give the finger to the police who have done nothing in her eyes to actually find the killer as it's been over seven months since her death. Woody Harrelson and Sam Rockwell return from Seven Psychopaths, Woody Harrelson as the police chief, Sam Rockwell as this really stupid hillbilly cop, and this film is a fantastic story. If I were to sum it up, literally though, in terms of its comedy, in terms of its emotional depth, in terms of the overall execution of this film, it's as though if the film grabs your balls, or ball in my case, and it will literally, on the flip of a switch, give you a tight, tight little tickle. Or it's going to grip them until you feel uncomfortable. If you guys remember from films like Seven Psychopaths or In Bruges, the film is generally funny all the way through, but then there's a point where the film will turn and become very dark, as well as very heart-wrenching and emotionally deep. Scenes like the flashback of the monk from Seven Psychopaths, or the whole premise of Colin Farrell's character wanting to commit suicide in Bruges. In Three Billboards, this keeps on happening over and over again, and by God does it make you feel uncomfortable, but by God does it make you want to keep watching the movie. I could not believe leave the depths and the angles and technically just the directions the story took but every time it did something completely out of what I thought was gonna happen and I appreciated it I was amazed by it and I was just further drawn into this story Frances McDormand is fan fucking tastic in this movie this is one of her best performances ever her character of Mildred is hysterical it's dark it's funny it's very intimidating it's grouchy but she also has these emotional moments that just make you feel for this character that's the other thing too everyone is a bad person but everyone also has a little bit of good in them throughout this whole film every character that we see are is connected in a way that transpires through events that you couldn't even possibly imagine. Woody Harrelson's character is standout. It's Woody Harrelson, but the direction that this character goes, especially with a certain scene, you, it's just incredible. The writing in this is by far his best. It's not his most funny movie, but Martin McDonough crafts a script that is so fucking emotionally heart-wrenching, as well as amusing that I couldn't help but not be fully drawn into the story. If there was any negatives I were to have with this movie, there was maybe Abby Cornish's accent. I don't know, it sounded like she was trying to do a Texan accent at the beginning and then she just goes straight to our Australian, so I don't know if I was just not hearing her correctly. And I know some people won't like the ending. And I understand why you won't, but if you've ever seen a Martin McDonough movie, you'll notice that his movies never really end and this one does more than the others I've ever done before and I actually admittedly went really because <laughs> I really wanted the film to keep going but I still massively appreciate everything that happens before the film is decently well shot but the shooting of the film is not the main part it's the characters it's the story it's the execution and everything is so freaking good. Even though you hate some people, you'll be so emotionally entwined with them that you'll actually care what happens to them. And that takes skill. So in the end, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri gets a 7 out of 7. The first one of the year. I definitely recommend seeing 
three billboards. If you've seen In Bruges, and if you've seen Seven Psychopaths, and you like those movies, go see this. This is definitely one of the best films of the year, and it's definitely going to be up there with my top three for the year. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I, again, just go and see this movie. You need to treat yourself to it. It's really, really good. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time.